Before we get into the video, I want to give all you groomers a preview. I know you all use the 10 blade, y'all use the 7 blade, you use the 30 blade. But have you ever been in a situation, and I know you have, where you had a blade and you were using the blade and you just wanted to switch to another blade real quick and go back to that blade without having to switch blades on the clipper? Well, I'm about to show you something that has never been done. And this wall, any of these people, Arsta, who you buy blades from, has never done this for you. But I'm about to do something special for you. Turn two blades into one blade for groomers. Stay tuned. <laughs> This is our new barber studio, talking sports, real barbers, real dudes, talking real life. Yes, stay tuned, stay smooth, don't move, you here with the hot boys. What's going on? Today in this video, we are going to show you how to do special modifications to make these clippers work for you. Whether you have blades, clippers, or even scissors, we're going to teach you how to make them work better. Whether you're a barber, stylist, or a beautician, or pet groomer, this video is for you. And I'm going to show you that I play with these clippers because I play with these clippers. What does that make me? That make me Kawhi Leonard. Why I say Kawhi Leonard? Because he's the only two-way player who is good on Defense, and he's great on offense. And so like Kawhi Leonard, when I'm using these clippers as a barber, y'all seeing those videos of me cutting hair, I'm on offense, and I'm playing with these clippers. But I'm also in the back on defense, modifying these clippers, playing with these clippers. So like I said, I'm going to show you, because I'm the only one in the barber game that play with these clippers, because I play with these clippers. Okay, so now this modification is specifically set up for pet groomers. But before we get into these blades and this video modifications, I have to address one thing. My band, my children, they are practicing. I gotta let them get it in on practice, because when I do these videos, they get it in for us when we do the introduction to these videos with them. Alright? So you're gonna hear a little bit of music. Now back to this. As groomers, you all know that you guys use the 30 blade. And you also use the 10 blade. And you all like the number seven blade. Well, today I'm gonna show you that this number seven blade, the modification I'm gonna do is at the tip of the teeth, I'm gonna break the teeth in to cut like a number 10 blade, but the full use of the blade actually is number seven. So now you have two blades and one. So let's go. So the first thing you need to see is this is a number 10 blade at the bottom, number seven blade at the top. So number seven, skip tooth blade. We're going to create that thinness of the tin blade at the tip of the number seven blade. So let's go. First thing I do is I would like to acknowledge the fact that I did get comments about marking the blades when I'm doing any type of sharpening so that you all can see the change of color in the sharpening process. Thanks to your comments, I'm now applying this rule. Next, you get the blade on your twice as sharp machine and then you want to get it to about a 45 degree angle and then of course now we cut our triple eye blade and you can see the black marker and then you also can see where we cut the tips of the blade on the skip to seven blade. And we want to cut a little bit more. So now what you have is the angle cut in which gives you the 45 degree angle which gives you a number 10 at the tips. 
Now you want to buff that out. Now you want to take the teeth so that it doesn't be tough on your dog. Speaking of dog, you can hear the dog, my dog in the background. Maybe he knows we're working on a blade for him. And now we just soft hit the corners of tips. Now you have a modified number 10 slash number 7 blade. All right. Now the next blade we will do is the 30 and the 10 blade. We all know that the 30 blade is a little bit thinner than the number 10 blade. But what we're going to do is take the number 10 blade. And of course I'll mark the tip, T. And now we're going to put the 10 blade on the twice as sharp machine and we're going to get it at a 45 degree angle and then we're going to cut the, just the tip of that blade. Take a look at that. So now you can see where the marker was. You can see the angle I cut into the tip. Let's do a little bit more. Now we're going to take and buff that. Now, after you buff that, you can see that angle in that blade. Turn it off and you just buff the teeth slightly so you get a smooth touch when you touch the dog hair and the skin on the dog. So now you have a number 10 blade that cuts like a 30 at the tip and a number 10 full cut. All right. Now, as for you groomers, I want you all to know I have videos that I show you how I sharpen a blade, hollow grind. I also show you how to sharpen a blade with sandpaper. But I do want you to know, if you want to see a specific video, groomers, please put a comment. If I get 20 or so comments about a particular video you want to see, I'll make it for you. And also, as always, please, let me know how you feel. Hit the like button. Also subscribe. And by the way, don't forget to hit the bell for notifications so you can see future videos that I put up. Thank you.